Hey everyone, welcome to Project Pro, a complete library of data science projects and big data projects. In this video, we'll be generating music that is a 2D data, a two dimensional data using serverless compute service, a NoSQL database service, a machine learning service, and your favorite and famous topic these days that is generative AI using. AWS services like AWS Lambda, AWS DynamoDB, SageMaker, and your favorite Deep Composer. Now, before we dive into the Deep Composer service, let's get our basics clear like what is Lambda, about Lambda, SageMaker, Deep Composer, etc. AWS Lambda is basically a computing service. And that is a serverless computing service which allows developers to run code without being focusing on servers that is the servers are being managed by the cloud service and the cloud service here is amazon web services right so uh, let me just pull the screen up yeah so it is a flexible and scalable solution that can be used for a variety of tasks in deep composer lambda is used to trigger and run training jobs for the machine learning models. Next we have is Amazon DynamoDB. Next we move on to AWS DynamoDB. So as you must be familiar with it, AWS DynamoDB is a NoSQL database which provides fast and predictable performance and offers high scalability. In Deep Composer, we use Amazon Amazon DynamoDB for storing the records of the music. By records, we mean is that the metadata of the music. Metadata may contain the name of the music, the date at which it was created, time at which it is created, etc. Next, we move on to AWS SageMaker. AWS SageMaker is a fully managed machine learning platform that enables developers or the users to build, test, deploy machine learning models at scale. It has the ability to integrate with many AWS services across the console. In Deep Composer, we use AWS SageMaker for training and deploying the machine learning models used for music generation. And also, it can be used for fine-tuning the machine learning models based upon the user's feedback. Now, we learn about the overview of the machine learning lifecycle. What's the machine learning lifecycle and how it operates? So the first step involves gathering data and preparing it. The data we can gather from anywhere or it can be given to us. Secondly, we, we train the model. The model can be regression model or it's a classification model, anyone. Evaluating the machine learning model using certain metrics. So, different different metrics are used for different problems. So, for regression, metrics like mean square error, mean absolute error, and for classification problem, we have metrics like uh, uh, precision recall. Next step of the machine learning life cycle is putting the model into production. And the final step is generating model inference. So model inference is basically a term used for testing the model with the real life data and obviously generating the predictions on the real time data that we say. Uh, okay, now we see, we get to know about generative AI and the unit architecture. Now. These days, generative AI is a hot topic, and uh, so generative AI focus on creating machines that can generate new and original content, such as images, music, or text. So the best example of of generative AI nowadays is ChatGPT, which is recently launched by OpenAI. It uses machine learning models to learn patterns and relationship on data, and then use those patterns to generate new content done through techniques like convolution neural networks that is a topic of deep learning, reinforcement learning or GANs, generative adversarial networks. So in this picture, you see this is a unit architecture being put in image 
and we apply certain convolutions, neural networks, max pooling, everything, and we generate. And, and then it is output segmentation map. So the ability to mimic something is at heart of generative AI. So generative AI basically generates the output, which is not the exact replica of the uh, of, of the of the text, music, or image that we wanted, but it's something new, right? Now we learn about the architecture behind the AWS Deep Composer. So behind the Deep Composer, AWS Deep Composer. So let's start with the input melody. We input a melody. It's a preloaded or we load in melody or song, right? Then it's transferred to the AWS Deep Composer console. From the console, it goes to the Amazon API Gateway. Amazon API Gateway transfer it to the Lambda, that is a serverless compute service. And the Lambda sends the data or inserts records. As we have read, it's Amazon DynamoDB, which is a NoSQL database. Parallelly, Amazon Lambda inference query to the Amazon SageMaker and in response to that SageMaker responds back with the inference to the Lambda and, and, and then the Lambda returns the response to API Gateway. Amazon API Gateway then returns the response to the AWS Deep Composer console and that's the generated music, right? Then the user has the option to share that generated music to the SoundCloud. All right. Now, let's go to the AWS console and try this, right? So we have logged into our AWS account, we are into North Virginia region. Now we are going for Deep Composer service. Deep Composer and let's go ahead. Okay, now Deep Composer service overview page opens up. So Deep Composer gives developers of all skill levels and creativity to experience machine learning so that we have already studied how it works. Here's an overview. We have a keyboard. Yeah, you can obviously buy the Deep Composer keyboard offered by Amazon. Here's the keyboard. You can go to this link and you can get the keyboard for $99. You have a console. We can publish the music generated on SoundCloud, right? Here, some benefits and features are mentioned, related services are mentioned, and more related sources. You can find documentation, pricing, FAQs, terms, and GitHub. So now we can go to get started button. Here you find the basic tutorials you can go through to learn about genetic AI and GANs. It's really am amazing tutorials, right? Now here four things are off music studio, trainer model, competing chat boosters and trainer model in Amazon SageMaker. Right. So in this option you can obviously train custom machine learning models. Yeah, and you can use that model to build uh, obviously generate the music out of your model, right? In chat boosters option you can compete. Right. Then uh, in train a model option, you can train a model. Yeah, so we are going, going with this option. Okay, in train a model, we have two algorithms they have given MuseScan and Unit. Right, so MuseScan is used for obviously for complex music, uh, you can say compositions. And unit is a basic algorithm that can be used for the music generation. So the basic definitions are written here and the main differences between the two have been defined here. Unit is a simpler architecture compared to MuseScan and extremely successful in the image translation domain. So for this we will be using unit architecture, unit algorithm basically, right? Now we have hyper parameters. It's already defined 640, 0.01 learning rate and 5 update ratio. You can obviously update it about 900 epochs 
or if you want 200 you can change it i will keep it default right now turning it you can change it between 0.00, 0.00 01 and 0.01 and update ratio between 1 and 5 the basic definition of all three have been written here you can give a name to your model any name under the model description and here we have tags you can obviously tag whatever name you want and you can start in i've already defined the model defined in the sense i've already trained a model so keep a note of it that training a model takes at least 2 to 2.5 hours right so yeah the name is musically that i have defined right you can just do the details it's trained on unit generated algorithm and yeah here is a discriminator and generator loss over time you can obviously view that how it performs all the data it's sample output at 10 epochs right 640 epochs 5 update ratio and learning rate in data set right now let's go to music studio start composing let me bring it down record a track so you can import a track i tried with gangnam style music popular music worldwide famous song and it took around two to three and four hours to train the model on it right so for this video we'll be using a default for the music that has been provided by amazon web services you can start with twinkle twinkle little stars or new world or dig the halls so i'll be choosing twinkle twinkle little stars and you can hear you can also play from the piano right this time signature metronome and beats per minute octave you can change the octave also right so let's continue yeah so here we have ARCNN, GANs, and Transformers. ARCNN series stand for auto regressive combination new networks. GANs we have already referred. And Transformers are basically, yeah, it's a complex, it's a complex topic. If you want, you can train the model of using it. But this we'll be using GANs, and here the here's the definition of GAN is defined. So we have trained a model previously on unit, so we'll be selecting unit and the name of the model, model is musically, right? Now let's continue. Yeah, it's yeah, inference output. Uh, if I switch this to the right. Great, you use the GAN technique to create. Yeah, now this is gen uh, output that has been generated. You can hear this. Okay, parameters. These are the GAN's parameters. And yeah, you can just mute this mute this you can change the instrument type also right continue yep. let me repeat it you can change the name of the composition also let's keep it musically uh, music right you can share the composition here also you can share the composition on, on soundcloud as referred right and all right then uh, we have some mix ups also if you want machine techniques in music studio it's a lot it's a lot to explore it's a lot to explore all right thank you for watching if you have any doubts regarding this topic you can just comment below uh, all right and okay thank you for watching like share subscribe this youtube video thank you